Here's one more look at the Drake T4XB that I picked up on eBay. I wanted to show the underneath of this thing and what can be problematic that I found so far. So this um, band change, which looks problematic where they have some nylon gears here and it's 90 degrees. You can see there's some play in the switch. But it basically works well, I think. I was checking out these crystals today and they seem to all operate. And I was concerned about the, um, the actual wafers here didn't seem to be exactly lined up. To have the crystals operate correctly, but it might be good enough. If you look carefully, you can see that these waivers tend to not be directly aligned to the band detent. Okay, so this one here, you can see that it's sort of over up inside, and then when you go back. Yeah, it's almost in between. And there it's fully meshed, right about there. So I think that's a weak, link, weak linkage in this radio. This is definitely this, this odd band switch arrangement. And I think when some bands don't work, you have to fiddle with this thing a bit, so. So I'm, I'm rocking about this much, and you can see that there's no effect over here at all. So you can see the shaft moving a lot. So this is really worn. So how could this be fixed? Maybe it could be cemented with cement or something. Or I could put a pin through here. See how that is moving and the switch is bad. So, and it almost looks like someone has used this gear over by using their half of it. It looks really like it's been uh, ground down there and somebody just turned the gear around. I don't know. It's an old radio. Anyway, so I took a look through here today because I have not been able to operate this thing yet and I wanted to see what could be problematic in it. I did find where the finals are fed on the bottom with high voltage. There's probably some issues there. So here, take a look at this. You can see this feed through is darkened here. And it's probably loose too. I'm having a lot of troubles with lighting here today. Okay, so yeah, this feed through is um, loose. So you can see here, well, boy, lighting today is bad. See how that wiggles. So that feed through looks bad. And you can see how it's been darkened on that side. That one looks like it's been arcing or something. So that's something I gotta replace, I think, is that feed through. I recall doing this on a Swan 500 once too. And anyway, everything else here looks copacetic for the finals. So the guy that sold me this rig was saying something about some bad tubes or something. It seems like the rig's fine. It just seems like the switch is kind of shot. It probably needs a line to some degree. I know the VFO works. And the uh, crystals here are all running. So the only concern is this waiver switch here where it doesn't really... It doesn't really line up correctly. That's a real problem. So what can be done about that? You can see where 
there's some backlash and this will simply not work correctly. Well, it's not that bad. I did go to the bands in previous videos and it seemed like the switch did work, so. I just don't like how I can visually see it missing a bit or be between two different crystals or coils and it seems bad. And you can see here where it has backlash. A bit. Well, I can see the shaft moving, so what has the backlash? Maybe it's the coil itself. Or it's the um, wafer. The wafer's worn. Yeah, it seems like it's a wafer. But it's not bad enough yet, I think, to replace it. Nor do I want to replace it. Alright, so it looks like on the books then are replacing the... Uh, The feed through cap here looks really bad. Replace that. Things were different in 19, what, 67, 74, whatever this thing was done. It's uh, point to point wiring from Ohio. And now we're Silicon Valley, and nothing happens in Ohio except cars. Take a peek at the uh, at the uh, top of this thing. Turn it over. Now I can't tell if these things upside down or not. I guess it doesn't matter. It's definitely dirty and corroded. It's amazing how this stuff gets so bad after all these years. And why it gets bad. Hard to say. Here's the cover for the finals. So I had them pulled out as I didn't want these things running and causing trouble. If I had no drive or anything, I didn't want to have uh, issues and I guess I need to release those feed throughs. The files are all down here. So what did they have in this thing? I think this is a zenith. The quality goes in before the name is on. Yeah, it's a zenith. And this one is not a zenith, it's something else. It's an A. Never heard of those guys. Anyway. I guess they're not matched, but I'm not sure that matters. I don't know. Maybe for doing neutralization, it's got to be matched. I don't really know. Looks like the plates are different density. All right, well, I don't plan to make a career of this radio. I just want to get it working and see if I can do some AM on it. I know it has a press carrier. And actually, this thing doesn't seem like it really is that useful as far as I don't think we think 10 meter band works you need an extra crystal or something but I'm still learning about it okay thanks for watching have a great day